little slow this evening. <laughs> and we are done. Fantastic. Fantastic. And we are live, officially live. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Saturday Eight Today. I'm going to go ahead and just really quickly make sure I'm set to go. Mute my fantastic YouTube stream going. Hi, everybody. I'm Kat King. Welcome to Study Today. It's fantastic to be here again with you. This is our second official episode, official and official episode of Study Today. And we're really excited to be back again playing some more Trek theme Mad Libs tonight with our special guest podcasters. We are pleased to present the Dura sisters. And, and we'll, in, yep, wait, that's Rihanna and Ashlyn Hurd. Yep, sisters, Dara sisters, welcome, welcome. And we're also going to be joined by Mr. Nerd Trek himself, Mr. David. Welcome, David. And then finally, we are joined by Trek Untold's Jeff and Phil. Wait, maybe there are Nerd Trek people with us. Too. I, see, I got confused as to who all was joining us, but I'm glad that we're all, yeah, Phil is with us. Yay, thank you. Yay, fantastic. And Jeff is with us as well. Thank you, Jeff. Welcome aboard. So good to see Hi there. you. So good to see you. Fantastic. Well, welcome. I wanted to introduce myself and uh, to explain what Stardate Today is. I am joined this evening by my loving fiance, Elise Craig, and she's running Tech for us in the background. Also can help me judge tonight's round of the Super Fight if we make it that far. We'll see how long our show, uh, our show goes with Mad Libs tonight. I wanted to tell you a little bit about who I am. So Kat King is a filmmaker, an experimental filmmaker, and a content creator creator and a lifelong Star Trek fan. Of course, I love all kinds of science fiction, including Stargate, Battlestar Galactica, Star Wars, and beyond. And that this star, uh, this particular podcast started in quarantine last year. I was a little lonely. I got laid off my job. And instead of, you know, throwing a pity party for myself, I decided to make some fun little TikTok videos. And they were basically short videos, short, short missions, away missions, where I would start off every episode with Captain's Log, star date today. You know, every day was today, right? So that's kind of how it started and then Elise joined me and we made some fun videos with our cats and then you know fun little things from here and there and it just grew and grew and then eventually what really was going on was um in about 2019 I joined as an intern the the cast of the seventh rule which is the Star Trek Deep Space Nine podcast that was begun and started by Mr. Aaron Eisenberg, Rock Lofton and Ryan T. Husk my good friend and so I of course Johnny on the spot I had to be the first one to be like oh my gosh you guys are looking for people oh my god sign me up oh my god sign me up and I would not let go. I was a dog with a bone with Ryan. I mean, I've known him since 2010, 2011, um, going to Star Trek conventions. And I've been volunteering with Creation Entertainment for years. And so I was like, oh, I've got to get in on the show. I've got to help them. Whatever I can do to help, I want in. And it turned out that they invited me aboard to be an intern. So that's kind of how it began. And then as time went on, you know, we lost Aaron and there was a little bit of a hiccup and we weren't sure if we were going to continue the show. And then the decision was made to continue the seventh rule, which I don't know about you, but I'm very grateful for that continuation because it's been a real... Um, a real boon for the fans who've lost Aaron to feel still some sort of real connection with him and his legacy and his, his energy and spirit that's still really very much alive in the show today. So um, they, at the end of the year, um, last year, they contacted me and said, we're making some changes at the show. We wanted to thank you for being an intern on the show. And now you're often free to do your own podcast. Guess what? We wanted you to do your own podcast. And I was like, are you kidding me? It's 2020. You're asking me to do a podcast in 2020 when there's a million podcasts. That's crazy talk. Like, what would I even do a podcast about that isn't already being done? Because especially in quarantine, when ever, it seemed like everybody was starting podcasts. But the truth is, podcasting has been around for a long time. And I've actually been in the podcasting game for quite a long time. Because prior to The Seventh Rule, I'd been doing some supplemental work on another show called TrekCast, which was the number one rated Trek-themed podcast on iTunes for years and years. And they're still going strong today. I'm not sure if they're number one, but who cares about the rankings anyway, right? So in the end, what ended up happening was I just was thinking to myself, you know, there's all these great podcasts. What am I going to do? And then it dawned on us. What if we make our entire first season about meeting all these other great sci-fi podcast crews? And so Yep. So we nailed it. We decided we're going to go with it. We're going to meet as many sci-fi podcast crews as we possibly can throughout the course of our first season, which means the first year that we're uh, casting. And then we'll decide what to do after, after that. But for the first year, it's really about meeting everybody else, making 
First Contact, which is what this episode and the series of episodes will be about. And uh, that being said, we're actually starting a, we started a First Contact challenge last Sunday with uh, Starfleet Underground, where we invited all of our Trek family and friends to spend 30 minutes every day reaching out to their followers and friends first on their Facebook and their social media before checking your own stuff and leaving a little love note or a little, you know, comment behind to say, hey, how are you doing? I hope you're hanging in there. I know this pandemic's been crazy, but just leaving a little note to show you care and when you do that you make a little screenshot of that interaction that you have you making first contact with the hashtag first contact challenge or first contact either one will do and when you do that you send that to us you can dm us on instagram or you can send it on facebook or you can send it on twitter however you social media however you media it up you're welcome to send us uh your graphics and promo and um if you are a sci-fi or horror podcast uh, or a crossover or anywhere in between dark fantasy anything to do with science fiction fantasy um or horror you are welcome to be on the show and we invite you to book at calendly.com slash start date today we are filling up very quickly as you can imagine, there are many, 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 many wonderful sci-fi podcasts out there, and they're very quickly catching wind of this show and its purpose, which is to build community amongst science fiction and horror fans, as well as to raise money for children everywhere via Extra Life for Kids and Children's Miracle Network. So that's a big, long spiel. That's who we are at Stardate today. And so far, we've actually managed to raise nearly $50 for kids everywhere. And I want to also mention that on Fridays, I do Fallout Friday, hashtag Fallout Fridays on Twitch. So I stream live from my Twitch at Stardate today. And I, you know, of course, bounce around the wasteland on Fallout 76 and maybe streak a little bit, you know, <laughs> cause a little ruckus, you know, <laughs> get my kicks on Fallout 76, as it were. <laughs> and you're welcome to join me there. Part of the reason why I do the Fallout Friday is to earn points through achievements through Microsoft Rewards. Again, those points can be redeemed for dollar amounts, actual cash that can be then donated to the charity of your choice right now i'm really super into black girls code that's my favorite charity to do with microsoft rewards so if you're playing on xbox be uh be uh, advised that we are doing this first contact challenge and that there is a giveaway involved so if you are participating in first contact challenge or if you are um, buying anything from our store you are participating in the charity and that makes you eligible to win a fantastic prize which we have not announced what the prize is because if we did that then you wouldn't have anything to look forward to right sillies <laughs> but know this that this is a game show this is essentially a meta game show all about meeting other podcast crews. So it's an opportunity for you to bring your gang aboard, play some fun games with us, win points, and then donate your points on behalf of Children's Miracle Network, or, you know, pass them on to another viewer or someone who's maybe watching the show. So that's basically who I am. That means that it's time to now go into introducing our guests one by one and sharing a little bit about your podcast, who you are, what your podcast is about, what makes you special. Basically, you're going to pitch us so that the whole world can see how amazing you are, just like we know you to be. Okay, so we're going to start with, in order, we're going to start with the Dura sisters, Miss Ashlyn and Rihanna Hurd. Go ahead, ladies, take it away from here. Oh, Ash, can't hear you. Okay, so uh, uh, Ashlyn and I are sisters, obviously. That's why we chose the name the Dora yeah. Sisters. And we are hosting a Star Trek philosophy-esque type podcast where we take a different theme of, say, our last theme was family. And so we go through every single Star Trek series and talk about yeah. the family in original series, next generation, and so on. Uh, our first series was the pilot series where we went through each pilot oh. of every Star Trek series and talked about it, discussed it. And we really like getting like really deep in depth to these different themes. And we are currently on our love and affection series, right? We released our first one on Valentine's Day. And uh, it's just very, very fun for Ashley and I, who have been lifetime Star Trek fans, to just get a platform that we can talk about Star Trek and just really have a blast. I love that you have a sibling that you get along with on this level. Yeah. And I, I have to know, have you always gotten along on this level or is, is this like a newfound friendship and adulthood kind of a thing? We've always been really close. Oh, yeah. That's so sweet. Oh, I wish I could say the same. <laughs> 
<laughs> um, but no, actually, I, at least I can say now that I am actually really good friends with all of my sisters and my mm. adult siblings, and we get along famously now, and I'm very grateful for that. That's so, so that's great. fantastic. Yes. I'm so glad to hear that there's um, some some podcasts out there really digging deep and uh, getting into that. And I actually really like the way you set your podcast up with, you know, you have a specific kind of, it sounds like you're setting up like a specific theme. Mm-hmm. You pick the episodes like to go along with that. That's really cool. Yeah. Well, welcome aboard. I'm really glad to have you at Stardate today. It's so good to meet you. We have Thanks a very special us. Mad Libs for you today. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to tell you any more than that. But with no further ado, we're going to now move on to Mr. David from Nerd Trek. Go ahead and tell us all about you, Mr. David, and your podcast, which is also amazing. Oh, oh, we have some. We're having a mayday, mayday sound problem. There we go. I think we're back. No, no, no. Oh, is David not available? David's down. David's down for the count. He's down. Someone I can talk about in. it. Yeah, go okay, ahead. We'll just, we'll just all uh, defer to Jeff. This is his Yeah, we'll flag. defer to Jeff. <laughs> we'll do that. Uh, <laughs> hi, I'm, uh, <laughs> um, I'm Jeff. So uh, myself and Phil and David, we do the Nerd Trek podcast. Um, basically, Phil and I were, lo- were lifelong Star Trek fans. We grew up on Next Gen, um, and we kind of convinced David to do this, and he's a Star Wars fan. And yes. about a year and a half ago, we were just like, hey, let's do a full rewatch of, of everything. Um, and we'll do episodes about it and we'll kind of take David on this journey and we'll have guests on. So that's what we're doing. Um, we're doing a full rewatch, um, all the way through even the really bad stuff, uh, which is even better. <laughs> really bad stuff. Really oh, bad oh stuff. do tell. You'll have to get into the really bad <laughs> stuff. Oh yeah. Um, and that's what we're doing. Yeah. We're kind of seeing since David is, he hasn't, he's seen some of it, but not all of it. And then. I think Phil and I are, we're just kind of reconnecting on stuff we've liked, stuff we don't like, and just, I guess, seeing it from a new perspective, you know, instead of us in our uh, teenage years, we're seeing it now and we're kind of seeing what we get out of it. So it's been a lot of fun and we've had the Dura sisters and we've had Trek Untold on our show. So it's a good podcast family reunion. (laughs) Fantastic. That's exactly what I was going Going for, I mean, like the rules of podcasting be damned. Who says that you have to have only what three people on screen or four people? We can have as many as we bloody well please. This is our show. Absolutely. We can do whatever we like. And, that, and, that, you know, and as yeah. this, and even though we are raising money for children, that doesn't mean we have to talk like children. We can talk like grown ups here. So I'm gonna just be the first one to say it. Fuck, 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 fuck. And I said it again. Fuck. So that, fuck yeah. that's that. Fuck yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sunday fucking fun day. Yeah, that's right. Let's do it. All right, everybody. So that's fantastic. So and everybody knows about Trek Untold. I mean, it needs no introduction. Trek Untold is an amazing podcast that really takes you behind the scenes. You get to really hear from people who those names you don't really uh, sit through and wait for on the credits, you know, and then anyway, you're already onto the next episode or whatever. But you know what? In all fairness, I've actually had a chance to talk to some of those amazing people like Chad Rebell, the editors of Star Trek Discovery and a few other people. And I know that Trek Untold has has had amazing special guests and is really doing a great job of bringing those untold stories to light. So if I did you justice, thumbs up for a Trek Untold. And if you feel like you want to add something, you can always add it. But um, I don't know. I think Trek Untold is one of, one of my absolute, you guys are one of my favorites so far. Dura Sisters I'm new to, but I'm absolutely loving it. And you know, Nerd Thank Trek, you. I got to be, got to be there for Nerd Trek. In fact, there's no rule that says we cannot support every single podcast that we find. There's just no rules. If you've got 24 hours in a day, there's minutes to spend listening to someone's awesome content. So that brings us to this evening's round of Star Trek Mad Libs. Now, I want to advise everybody that there are 18 parts of speech that we need for this game. So I'm going to go real quickly through this. And I'm just going to go to each one of you in round. We'll begin again with the Draw Sisters. And and since Ashlyn doesn't seem to have sound. Do I? Can you hear me now? Yeah. Oh, okay, I can. Great. Oh, good. Okay, good. <laughs> good. Fantastic. Oh, Ashlyn, yay. Okay. Hey, did you want to say a few words about yourself or your awesome sister and your awesome podcast? I think Rihanna did it justice. We've been watching Star Trek for 12 years together. We started when we were about 12 or 11. So yeah, we love Star Trek and it's been a blast making this podcast. Also started during quarantine. 
So yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You know what? We just, we all had to have something. I was laid off in Jan at the end of January. So I just needed something to do. And I thought, you know, I've, I had done some podcasting back when nobody took podcasting seriously and it wasn't even considered even radio and nobody was even going to care about it. And then of course I stopped doing it because nobody cared about it back then. And um, now it's all blown up. So this is great. But anyway, so let's go ahead and start tonight. Now, uh, does everybody here know how to play Mad Libs? We've all played Mad Libs. Does anybody want me to review the rules of Mad Libs? Pretty complicated stuff here. Okay. <laughs> I got it. I think we're good. We're good. I, you know, we're going to dig deep into the, you know, no, the, tech, the finer technicalities of the, uh, the game of Mad Libs. No, let's go ahead and start with a number. Can somebody just give me a number? Shout it out. 23. 23. Oh, no. Not the number 23, Ooh. speaking of sci-fi <laughs> horrors and the supernatural and creepy movies about Jim Carrey killing people. Oh, spoiler alert. Did I spoil it? Never watched <laughs> you never watched the number 23? No. Baby saying that. she hasn't seen it. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's a good one. It's a good, it's a good movie, actually. I really enjoyed it. Um, and maybe we'll have an episode where we do a little bit of a rewatch of some of the famous scenes from it because there are some pretty cool scenes in that movie. Um, okay, now we need a verb. Any verb. Now think remember, think about your Star Trek context and maybe ways that you can insert that into this game. Stun. Does LaForge maneuvering Phaser count in. as a verb? I like stun. <laughs> I was going to go with phasering. Yeah. Uh, okay, fa to phaser. I like that. To phaser works. Okay, we need an adjective. Hmm. <laughs> tall. Oh, let's see. How many Chuckies does it take? Um, <laughs> tall. Oh, wow. Six Chuckies, and we came up with tall. That's fantastic. <laughs> That's, That's good. <laughs> so, we're so eloquent. We are. We're very. Okay, now look, we just need a noun. Captain. Shoe. Ooh. Captain. I like Captain. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm kind of like whose line? I'm just taking whatever I, I think sounds good. Yeah. Part of the body, plural. Ooh, plural. Remember NSFW. Mm. Antennas. Antennas. Ooh. There we go. That's, <laughs> talk about sexy spicing it up at the MC17 <laughs> level, my friend. Ooh, look at you go. Okay, let's get it in now. But uh, spoiler alert, there's going to be lots of nouns needed. Um, we need at least one noun for now. Targ. Quarter. <laughs> quarter. I like quarter. Okay. An animal. T targ. I'm going to go with targ. Targ. Oh, I like Good that. Mm -hmm. Good one. Okay. We need another noun, which could also be an animal if you wanted it to. Klingon? Klingon. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Pretty good. And we need two more plural nouns. And, um, enterprises. Enterprises. <laughs> Does that <count>? Enterprises. <laughs> My favorite. Okay, so we have triples and enterprises. I like that. I had a feeling triples would star in this one. Mm. <laughs> Steal the show That's no matter what. Okay, we need. <laughs> yeah, absolutely, we need. Um, we need a verb from you. Licking. Looking, oh, as good as anything. He's like, yeah. no, I said, I said looking. Well, you know what? You know what? That's okay. We'll do oh, no, looking, looking for the next one too. Oh, looking. Okay. Totally okay. looking. So looking, <laughs> <laughs> looking, and then we have another verb. Phasering. Does that count? Phasering. Okay. We yes. Well, fine. We have phasering already. <laughs> I was gonna say, we'll double it up. With lots of face ring going on this one, I guess it makes Very sense when it all comes yeah. out. <laughs> Very action-packed, indeed. We just need one more verb. Transport? I was going to say transport, too. Transport. Yeah. Transport. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Good you one. got it. Okay. And then we need an adjective. Meekily. Meekily. Meekily, sneakily, either one. Yeah. Meekily, sneakily, sneakily. I like sneakily better. Yeah, sneakily. This feels like an episode of Family Feud almost. We're all like, yeah, good answer, good answer. <laughs> good right, answer. Good money. <laughs> Survey says. <laughs> Survey says two people. Two people chose. No, just kidding. Sneakily. And we have the same adjective twice, so I'm going to use that one again. And uh, one more adjective, a verb, and a plural noun. So adjective. Hmm. Sexy. 
Yeah. So, oh, there yeah. we go. How we're we getting into the spirit yeah. of things. Yes. <laughs> never go wrong we're going to need sexy. a verb. Come on. You know what comes next after sexy with verbs. Oh. <laughs> yeah. he's like wait whoa wait are you for real <laughs> she means go what for it next? i meant spoilers oh spoiler alert is hail a verb <laughs> to hail yeah hailing? yeah yeah. Hailing. Hailing yeah. Hailing. Hailing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah there you go yeah sure yeah. okay it's a hail and sexy then hailing. A, yeah I like sexy hailing. Oh, it's like this. Yes. Future sexy. Yes. It's like that Janeway. It's like that Janeway and Tinker Ten Doctor Spy episode. Yes. She's like that. Nailed. Absolutely. <laughs> I mean, you got to be hardcore checky to get that one. <laughs> that was pretty specific. Okay. Plural noun and one more part of the body. Bottles of Canar. Oh, Ooh. bottles of Canar. I love yeah, it. Nice. Yes. The best. Yes. Oh, that's going to be great. You're going to love this. Okay. And then we need one part of the body. Uh, just cling on ridges. Ridges. Ooh. Cling on ridges. <laughs> cling on ridges. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay. All right. Are we ready? Are we ready for some famous cling on proverbs? You guys seem to have uh, figured out Ooh. exactly what was going Do on it. tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how we did it. We managed to get ourselves into the exact uh, position we wanted to be for this story. The Klingons have a very complex language, as you know, and have had for 23 centuries to phaser some interesting sayings. Here are a few <laughs> tall ones. <laughs> 4,000 uh, 4, antennas, mm. maybe cut in one quarter by a running tog. Fair. Oh, what That's an interesting fair. proverb. Yeah. A classic one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and a classic, you know, classic. Wise what words. Else? <laughs> a leader is judged not by his the length of his Klingon, but by, <laughs> <laughs> but by the enterprises he makes. Ooh. I'm pretty sure it's a rule of acquisition. I'm yeah, you approved. might be right. Yeah. You know, I was gonna yeah, say, can right, I get yeah. a can I get a fact check on that for me on aisle one? Thank you. A leader is judged not by the length of his Klingon, but by the enterprises he makes. I like that one a lot. Pity the warrior who slays all his tribbles. Uh, I know I heard I would say, but Klingon it is. They would want to, yeah. I would say that would be accurate. Yeah. And as well, you can say licking, oh, no. and you may eat dinner transporting and you may be dinner which is also possibly true if you're on enterprise and you're that's true, <laughs> true, that. true that. it's absolutely cold yes yeah. <laughs> oh you guys are gonna love this uh revenge is a oh it's a captain best served cold yeah. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey you know what that works for me i actually really like that one yeah yeah i love it if winning is not, oh, I see it. Oh, I skipped one, yes. Oh, a sneaky knife is nothing without a sneaky eye. Hmm, that's I like deep. That. That's what to think about. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you guys are gonna love this. If winning is not sexy, why keep score? <laughs> hey. Sounds like a Kirk go. phrase. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah, bazinga. If, yeah, I love it. If oh sorry, if you cannot control yourself, you cannot hail others. Yeah. Hmm. Accurate. Accurate. I guess it's accurate as well. Mm -hmm. So if you meet a Klingon, use one of these bottles of canar and you may keep your Klingon riches. <laughs> Kapla. It's a good one. Kapla, very well done. Every, everything's better with, with canar. Very well done. I thought that, that was really fun. I really enjoyed that one. Now that is one. Now we have time for a little bit of sci-fi sci super fight. Would you guys like to play sci-fi super fight or shall we uh, move on to the next segment and wrap up for the How evening? How do we play sci-fi super fight? That sounds intriguing. All right, <laughs> intriguing. I yeah. thought you might ask. I thought you might ask. So sci-fi super fight is a brand new game. Uh, actually, what we're doing is modifying a game that we got from Hot Topic called Super Fight. And uh, that comes with an expansion for sci-fi nerds like us. Yeah. Yes. There we go. <laughs> Basically, is, all it is is silly arguments that we start by pulling a bunch of random cards with locations and setting a scene. And then we give you two superheroes or two characters from sci-fi and or something or object from sci-fi. We'll give them an advantage. And then we'll set them in a location. And then you guys are going to tell me who wins the fight, basically. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and do a... Oh, our, 
Yes, and we place bets. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> That's right. Uh, yes. So, for example, we have our first scene. It's a trap. We're flying through an asteroid field, but it's a trap. Apparently, something's gone wrong, and uh, there's an evil, you know, dictator out there to try to shut us down. And we have run into Jar Jar Binks and Evil Morty. So you are going to choose, pick your pick your champion, Jar Jar Binks or Evil Morty, and argue in favor of your champion. Now, let me tell you a little bit about each of your champions. Each of them has a secret advantage. Evil Morty is secretly just an illusion, and Jar Jar has all the weapons from the Men in Black. You tell me. Who wins in this sci-fi super fight? Jar-Jar. Begin. I take Jar Jar. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what be, what no, makes you I say Jar Jar? Oh, come on. Really the evil Morty. Come on. Evil Morty, what, evil Morty is secretly Easily. just an illusion. But is he really secretly just an illusion or is that just another chaotic, silly like ty- storyline for them to make up? <laughs> like a hologram. Like a hologram. Yeah, like a hologram. No, he wouldn't die, right? Just because he's an illusion. <laughs> If he's really just an illusion, doesn't that mean that he would survive? Right, and even when he's really him. cunning, so yeah, couldn't like, be able to kill him, right? Kill him. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I, exactly. I think he'd be able to talk Jar-Jar his way like... into like letting Jar Jar jump his way into like off the <laughs> yeah, asteroid like, or something. <laughs> well, Jar Jar could just make him forget even who he is and you know what he is, right? Because he could just say, you know, look at this for me. Do me a favor. Look at this real quick. You know, and then just like thing. <laughs> yeah. I think Jar Jar would would not work it well, and he would turn around on himself. That's that's my theory. Yeah, but he's still know. somehow Everybody win because he single handedly won the Battle of Naboo, so he'd find a way. Yeah. Everyone knows Jar Jar is Maybe. secretly a Sith Lord. He's very powerful. True. <laughs> it's like All the Drunken right. Master fighting style. But remember, we're flying through an asteroid field, and it's a trap. So that means they're that there's also space. they're fighting in space. So think about that. Give that a second Ooh. thought. You so know. they're both dead because they can't breathe in space. <laughs> <laughs> More, more he's an illusion, so he doesn't need it. There we go. There we go. Exactly. That's a clear winner. Oh, winner, winner. I think we have our winner. All right, we're going to go ahead and take a vote. So everybody in favor of Evil Morty for this round of Super Fight, say aye. 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 Oh, I don't know. That was tough. And all in favor of Jar Jar Binks? Aw. Oh. <laughs> Silence. He's argued well against. Yeah. <laughs> Real you know, it's funny twister. that Jar Jar started off as such a strong one, and then even Morty snuck in there I... like a dark horse and just <laughs> took it away. Yeah. He really we did. We were in space and all. We were in space. Aww. Once yeah. we reiterated that we were in space, I think it was clear that you know even Morty was gonna win win the day, win the day on that one. What did you think? Did you like Sci-Fi Super Fight? That was a fun little round, wasn't it? Definitely. Yes, that was good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So absolutely. So what would happen? is ordinarily uh, and there are a million different ways to play this game but sometimes what we can do is we can pit one team against the other and then the loser it's battle royale so the winner plays the you know the next team especially if we have three crews on at a time and we can book up to five crews at a time because that's just how i roll i'm a little crazy and i like it like that so um yeah so this has been uh, fantastic. I'm so glad. Thank you all for joining me. I want to give a shout out to Elise Craig, who's been making our fantastic resin crafts. You can check out some of the amazing resin craft key- game controller keychains that we've been making. We have pink, we have green, we have black. We have them for the kids. Any purchase that you make from our Etsy store, uh, and you can find us easily through our Instagram and, of course, you know, on our uh, Patreon website. We have magnets. We have earrings that are made from resin as well. These are actually a pair that I'm wearing right now that are guitar pick earrings. These are actually functional resin guitar picks. And if you like playing with resin, then, you know, or if you've never played with resin, it's a good shot. Try it. And, um, and then that's basically it. We're basically selling all these fun little resin crafts on behalf of children everywhere, um, Extra Life for Kids and Children's Miracle Network. So everything that you purchase from our stores goes directly to support kids in need all over the world. And we really appreciate everyone being here tonight. So for everybody here at Stardate today, this is Kat King and Elise Craig and everybody at Duras Sisters and Nerd Trek and Trek Untold saying and log. Yes, and, and we'll log. see you there. And log. And log. <laughs> <laughs>